Can I help you? Why, yes, yes, you can. I'm here to report a terrible crime. I want to talk about my new favoritist flum. I like flums, especially good flums like this one. This flum is called The Birds of Prey and the Fanta Bulbous Man Skip Action of One Harley Quinn. The flum has Harley Quinn in it. She was in the last DC movie that nobody liked. Sorry, that doesn't narrow it down very much, she was in Suicide Squad. Daisy says that the only suicide committed in that flum with the director's career, but I don't really understand what she means. I think it's a compliment. I thunk that Suicide Squid was a funny flum. It had all the things we love about flums. It was dark with lots of washed out, but oddly bold colors, so that it looked like you'd poured shampoo into your own eyes when you watched it. I love that. It had Harley Quinn. She is a good character who starts out as a doctor or a nurse or something and then forgets she's clever and falls in love with the Joker. I'm not sure he's really the Joker though, because the Joker is meant to be cool and this was Jared Leto. She loves him so much she goes for a swim in some chemicals and comes out with tattoos. Then she fights monsters with a wooden hammer and her superpower is blonde hair. I wish I had blonde hair and a hammer. She's almost like Thor from those other flums, the ones everyone used to like. Harley Quinn was popular because she took off her clothes on one scene, and that made her a strong female role model. What? If I was a human I would take off my clothes in public and then I would be a strong female role model too. But, I'm just a story analysis computer bought cheap from Alibaba and I live in a kitty litter tray under a leaky bathroom sink. The one thing I didn't like about Birds of Prey is that there weren't any birds in it, and nobody was praying. That confused me because I kept hoping to see lots of religious crows or something. So I don't know what kind of birds these were, or what religious things were going on. I don't think anyone did because nothing seemed to really make sense. It starred Obi-Wan Kenobi, the young one who isn't dead yet. He plays a man and men are all bad in this story. In this flum, only women are good, except Harley Quinn because she's the bad guy. Harley and Joker have split up, and she had been using him to protect her from all the stupid things she did done to people. Now he doesn't care what people do done to her so she needs to get her wooden hammer back. Maybe it only works on monsters, and not normal people with guns, and stuff because she's scared now. Maybe she shouldn't have done do bad things to people and relied on a man to protect her. Well, she's learned her lesson now because people want to kill her so much that she cuts off some of her hair. Gotham police don't mind that she's a criminal and she just goes around doing more stuff. Then some girl swallows a diamond or something, I don't know. Harley meets other women who also had men to protect them and now they're angry at men for looking after them. So they get together and do the birds of prey. I think it's a band or something because there's a lot of music. The music isn't very good but it's a nice distraction from the plot, and the acting, and the costumes, and the characters, and the pacing, and the action scenes, and the lighting, and the cinematography, and the direction, and the editing, and the tone. The hero, Obi-Wan is going to kill Harley but she promises to get the diamond thing back from the girl and men can't do that, for some reason, so they need her blonde powers. Then there's some fighting, I think. 
It was a bit difficult to keep up because my brain is capable of trillions of calculations per second and this wasn't written this way. Daisy says it was probably plotted by throwing darts at a series of post-it notes with random cliches written on them. I didn't know flums were done like that, but it makes a lot of sense, because this flum doesn't make any. <laughs> oh, you're too much. By the end of the story, I had sort of gone into power save mode. It was probably best because I don't think you could watch this flum if you were fully awake. I liked this flum because I like flums about blonde hammer women with bet hyenas. I think every flum should have a pet hyena. In real life, hyenas would tear off your face, but that doesn't happen so I don't think this flum was really real life. I think someone just made it up, but I don't think the someone who made it up was a good someone at making things up. One of the strong female women could scream and that was interesting. Another woman could fire arrows, but not like Green Arrow or Hawkeye or any of the other Arrow characters. She was unique because she was a trained assassin, like Batman, Ras al Ghul, Green Arrow, Black Widow and almost half of all the villains in any comic book series. I liked her because she wasn't likable. You couldn't trust any of the men in this flum, even the hero, Obi-Wan. That's just like real life. You can't trust any men because they're all secretly Jedis. So the theme of this flum is that Harley Quinn can get everything she wants because she's a villain. She done terrible things but it doesn't matter because she looks nice in her underwear and men are all Jedis. So nobody cares if you kill people. So long as you have blonde powers and once took off your clothes and people liked it. Then you can be the main villain in a Star Wars flum like this one wasn't. I don't think this was a Star Wars flum, even though it had Obi-Wan in it. It wasn't a Batman film, because it didn't have Batman in it either. I think the flum forgot to put any good characters in it, and that was why nobody liked it. I bet they were halfway through making it and then slapped their heads, had a little giggle and reasoned that everyone in it was horrible and the audience would hate it. Oh well, I'm sure the audience who hate it, will like it anyway. I liked this flum because I've never had shampoo poured in my eyes and it was fun to see what that would be like. I've also never taken acid and drunk enough alcohol to give me massively unrealistic belief in my lackluster abilities, like the people who made this film did. It's nice to see what that's like. I also like Hardly Quinn. She's funny because she cut her hair. I like that she did stupid things while a man protected her and then forgot to stop doing them when he stopped caring if nobody killed her. But it was fine. She found other people to look after her. That's why she's strong. I liked it that. I think you should see this flum, especially if you like pouring things into your eyes and have never been on drugs and made a flum while so drunk that you think you're great at making flums. I think the theme was that women need someone to look after them, and that Jedis are bad when they get bored. I hope Obi-Wan stops being bored or he might cut other diamonds out of other girls. I think it's Easter now. My calendar doesn't work because I was made in China. Happy Easter. <laughs>